Welcome to the Michigan Skier Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. We're at Treetops. It's snowing, and we're in the middle of the brand new Advanced Terrain Park with Brian Snebs, who's uh, from Board to Board Terrain Design, and Kevin McKinley, who's director of ski and snow sports and oh, some other stuff. A bunch of other stuff, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. Brian, tell us a little bit about, we, we, we see piles of snow and some heavy equipment. What's going on out here? Well, right now we're uh, trying to get the park set, like a rough set. So this morning we came in and uh, we had a bunch of raw snow here. We laid out the park on paper. We took the, the new features that you guys ordered from us this year. Um, and laid them out on, on the paper and then uh, for the last four or five hours or so we've been just moving our way down the hill and sculpting uh, kind of how our drawing is uh, shaping up and we're hoping to get it roughed in by tonight and try to groom it. It looks like we're going to have some snow so we'll probably uh, have to dig it out a little tomorrow but that's never a bad thing at the ski resort so should work out great. So you plan it on paper and then how do you translate it from paper to here? Well basically most of it comes from a lot of uh, time on a snowboard and you, you look at the hill and you look at what you have and you try to imagine in your head how you would ride down the hill and what you could add to the topography of the run to make it interesting and more fun. Well it does look like fun so Kevin tell us a little bit about how you go about ordering this. Well you know we we came to the realization this year um, that we're not experts in when it comes to designing terrain parks and and so we we look to brian and his company board sport and and they've come in and and done a fantastic job this is more than i can ever ever fathom um we've tried it in the past we've tried features just made out of snow and you know they ended up just kind of being piles of snow and and sometimes that's worse than actually not having a terrain park so this year uh, people are going to be pleasantly pleasantly surprised when when they come to treetops because this is going to be great yeah, our, uh, our plan really is is more of a multi-year plan and we're, we're trying to start out with something that's going to be fun beginner intermediate style we're going to train the clients here uh, to come and have some fun on the hill and kind of get their boarding and skiing skills up a little bit. And then within the next few years, we'll progress it a little bit. But I, I think our general plan is to try to get something that's rider friendly and safe for the majority of the people on the hill. Safe and fun. So right. you, you mentioned more than snow. So what are we going to see here besides snow? Well, um, some of the features, uh, like you can see here up top on the run and down here on the side are, are built from a steel frame um, with wood skirting around it, uh, plywood, and then we use a composite material on top that's similar to the bottom of skis or a snowboard, which makes it real slick and uh, smooth for sliding across. So basically we're building up the snow, we're setting the features on the snow. Some of them will be jumps with just snow and some of them will have, you know, we're bringing in a little bit of uh, natural terrain with a log this year that's going to be up on this spine behind us. Should be pretty popular. Uh, it's one of the new things they're calling uh, this year in the terrain parks is called Junkyard Chic. And it's <laughs> bringing back old tires and telephone poles and anything you can get out here that you can put up on the hill that the kids can jump over or bonk or slide or something interesting and different. <laughs> Boy, it sounds like fun. Junkyard Chic, right? There, that's no kidding. And. Uh, you know, it, he, Brian hit it right on the head, and I don't know what kind of noise. The, there goes the groomer, and that's probably a good shot in the background there. But, uh, you know, we, we really needed to start from an intermediate level. There's so many resorts out there that, that go directly to this big advanced terrain park, and frankly, people can't use it. People can't use the features right, and, and that's, what, that's what we asked Brian to do, and that's exactly what Brian's doing, is building a terrain park that, that caters a little bit more towards our guests, but the intermediate rider and and frankly the the sport is pretty new it's a pretty new sport so I would say a vast majority of riders out there are intermediate they're not the advanced rider so we want to cater to what the majority is right now however the, there are going to be some features that that an advanced rider is going to be able to to have a great time on and, and do maybe some different tricks than than the intermediate rider but uh, that's who we're catering to and he's done a fantastic job of it. Yeah, I think he hit it right on the head where we try to build stuff that's going to 
cater to the, the vast majority where the beginner can get up and ride across it and have a good time or just jump over it a little bit and the more advanced rider could actually do some tricks on it and they're still catering to this, the same group of people so it's not just advanced snowboarders or just beginners it should be an area where everyone can come in and have a good time.